There's a beast, one as tall as a mountain. We won't rest till he's good and deceased. Sally forth, tally ho, grab your sword, grab your bow, praise the Lord, and here we go. What's going on, guys? Tonight we're talking about two new release films. The first, starring Idris Elba, as he is fighting for family in Beast. This is the new action thriller film, which also stars Charlotte Copley as Idris Elba's best buddy. And he's got two daughters. His wife has passed away. And, it, and in one last-ditch effort to bring solidarity and community to his family he takes them on a vacation and look this movie going into it didn't know what to think about it uh i thought that the cgi might have been a little questionable in some of the trailers i know that they tried to hide the lion a lot in the trailers so you know i'm wondering is it going to be really noticeable cg and honestly it wasn't i think this movie has pretty good visual effects believe it or not uh the lion 90 percent of the time looked pretty good and there's a, a a sequence where you see a dozen lions or maybe half a dozen lions and i said wow th this actually looks like they're real uh so you know Props to them, to the VFX department, but not props to the screenplay department. Uh, I don't think this is a terrible script, but I think the movie is extremely basic. Uh, I think you can watch this and kind of expect and predict what's going to happen. Uh, you probably could imagine that there's going to be some melodrama going on in the background, and as the film progresses, we have to try to resolve that melodrama, uh, which this movie sort of does, I would say. I think this extreme event for this family brings them closer, and I think an extreme event for anybody will bring them uh, closer, definitely. Uh, this reminds me of the film Fall, which I reviewed last week, last week's new release, and uh, it, it's, it's, it's a situation that's very life-threatening. And uh, this is a film that needs to hold your interest, to hold your sus suspense on the edge of your seat. And I think this movie did so. It kind of flew by. By the time it ended, I said, wow, that was like a really breezy watch. I mean, it just really uh, didn't drag at all. I thought the pacing was pretty good. I thought the filmmaking aspect of it was really good as well. I thought the cinematography was beautiful. Some of the best center cinematography I've seen all year in this film, actually. I thought the editing was on point. The score by Stephen Price, Oscar-winning composer of Gravity, really good. And I think Idris Elba, you know, he's a superstar. He's just so likable in this film, and you want him to win. You want his family to win. Charlotte Copley, how could you go wrong with him? Uh, you know, in the end of the day, it's it's not a great film, you know, but it is an entertaining film. It's what you'd expect it to be. And uh, it's only about an hour and a half, and it goes by pretty quickly. So, you know, you got two, you know, pretty decent thriller suspense films like uh, like this in theaters right now. This and, and Fall, I think, would be a, a really good double feature. So, you know, I do think I prefer that film over this film, but not by a lot. I did really like this. I'd give it a three and a half out of five stars. Guys, comment down below. Do you plan on seeing The Beast, or Beast, should I say? What's your thoughts on it? If you did, leave that down below. Also, hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll also be posting a review for the other new release film coming out this weekend, Orphan. The first kill, the prequel to the 2009 Orphan film. Also, guys, hey, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at RyanKang72. And KingerRises131 is the username on TikTok and Instagram. And, guys, look, that's been it for me. Thank you so much for watching my review for Beast. And until next time, over and out.